you can see we got the wiring harness out. Uh, Ryan pulled all the glow plugs out. Sometimes they'll come out hard. If they come out hard and you have to pull on them, that probably means they're dragging on carbon inside that pre-chamber. So I'm gonna show Ryan now how to use this reamer. He hasn't used a reamer before, but this is really important for those of you watching this who have a diesel or thinking about getting one of these old diesels. If you get a lot of carbon in the pre-chamber hole there, that's gonna shorten the life of your glow plugs. It's gonna cause excessive smoke at startup. It's going to make it run rough at startup. So just let me stress once again, the importance of this particular job. I always recommend putting a little bit of synthetic lube on the reamer. The reason for this is when you start cutting into the carbon, all that carbon is going to stick to the grease there. It's not gonna go into the pre-chamber. It's not gonna really do any harm, but it's better to keep as much of it out of the engine as possible. Okay, Ryan, stick that baby in the hole and start reaming. It's not, it's not going in. What do you mean it's not going in? It's, uh... Okay, pull it back out. Let's see the tip. Oh, <laughs> whoa, look at the carbon on the tip. He hasn't even got it in far enough to start threading it. All right, so you're gonna have to use pressure. You're going to have to get a wrench and push in on that reamer as you turn it to get it far enough in there that you get the thread started. Okay. Come on, Ryan, push, <laughs> push, come on. Tell me when the thread start. Still not started, pull the reamer out again. Oh, there oh, you go, oh. there it went in. But go ahead and pull the reamer out. Let's take a look at it before we even get it started. Look at it, it's even stuck. You have to back it up a little bit. Okay, pull it out. <laughs> Whoa, oh, look at all the carbon. All right, put it back in there and go ahead and run it all the way in until it hits bottom. And then we'll pull it out and take a closer look. Okay. All right, you, you don't really need to torque it. Just get it so it goes down and it seats. All right, let's pull that baby out and see what we got. <laughs> okay, rotate it around so everybody can see how much carbon is on the flutes of that reamer. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that's crazy. That's <laughs> And I bet you're gonna find that same situation with all those other pre-chambers. Once the chamber's reamed out, look at how much easier it is to install a glow plug. You just push it in and it just threads in, pulls out. You don't have to wiggle it and pull. If they come out real hard, it usually means they're dragging on the carbon. And you can tell by looking at these glow plugs, when we turn them out, look at how clean they are right there. And that's true with almost all of them that we remove from this engine. You can see the polishing marks here from, from when we removed them and it was dragging on the carbon. So you can see the tip then is touching the carbon, which is going to shorten the glow plug tip life and also reduce the effectiveness of these glow plugs when you go to start your engine. I can't emphasize enough, anytime you pull the glow plugs, make sure you ream them out. And we have these available on my website, I'm not bashful to say this is probably the best diesel carbon reamer in the world.